I'm 13 years old, uh, live in Kentucky, uh, Lexington, Kentucky, and um, go to Jess Clark Middle School, uh, 8th grade. Hobbies, uh, I like to game a lot, uh, I love Mario, that type of thing. I like doing art sometimes, uh, so that's, that's always fun. Um, that's, I like cooking, that's, I like cooking a lot, whatever seems good. Well, the fun things probably be uh, pizza, because I uh, make the dough like three nights before, flatten it out, cook it, and it tastes, it's my favorite food, so yeah, I, I like that a lot. Hey, Brandon and I know how to cook a lot better now that Zach is a cook. He, he yeah, when we, when we cook, it's him telling us what to do and what, <laughs> what we're doing wrong. And, and how to do it correctly. Mm -hmm. I think he's the coolest kid ever. He uh, he has a very good sense of humor. He's a lot of fun. Got a little bit of sassy to him, but he's very smart. And um, he's just, he's a lot of fun to be around. He's an awesome kid. He does really good in school. He's very responsible. You know what? You're welcome. <laughs> She she pretty much said it all. Uh, I mean, he's just a great kid in all senses. Uh, so Zach started um, daycare when he was about eight weeks old, and he had um, some funny bumps on his skin on his leg, and it, it wasn't quite a rash, but it was more under the skin bumps, and. Um, the lady that was his teacher at the time, she was just like, this just looks kind of funny. She had she had worked with kids for 20 years and she said, I've never really seen anything like it. You know, next time you're the doctor, just get it checked out. And so his regular physicians didn't, didn't know, you know, there wasn't a diagnosis. And um, we were sent to a geneticist. We've been to a geneticist and then we were eventually sent to a pediatric dermatologist. And um, by that time, Zach was probably about four or five months old, maybe six months old. And um, they were the people that first said this might be progeria. They didn't tell us that, they wrote it on the paper. And six weeks later, we found out. It, took, it was six weeks before we found out if it was positive or not. And uh, as, soon as, as soon as they said the word progeria, you know, I knew what the, what it was and what the children looked like. The first thing we were interested in is just seeing pictures of the kids and seeing how they were. And, you know, Brandon's first comment to me was they all have smiles on their faces. You know, these kids are happy. And and that was a huge relief. Can you think of anything else you want anybody to know about progeria, about the disease or having it or whatever? We're, we're just normal and we're just, you know, this I came across the Progeria Research Foundation and I remember I told Brandon, I was like, Brandon, there's they're doing a drug trial right now with with these kids and and I know that, that they're gonna be able to help us. So it was just like and we didn't even know if he was positive or not at that time. But, you know, I think in our hearts, we, in our hearts, we knew. But um, it was a huge relief to know that we had, we had PRF and we knew that there was a drug trial going on. That was just amazing. You know, because we were scared and nervous and we didn't know anything about it. So that was, that was a, that felt good. That was a huge help. I kept, I kind of feel like Zach and that group of kids, he, he has been in these drug trials with, they kind of blazed the trail for the, for upcoming kids that are gonna be diagnosed. And so it's gonna be great for for new patients, for new children that get diagnosed. It's gonna be really good. And, and I'm sure a, a burden will be lifted off the parents as well because they'll know that they have something they can take. If I could say anything to, to new parents of a child that's been diagnosed with progeria, I would say don't give up hope. There is a medication out there that has been a good treatment and we have a foundation behind us that is continuously looking for a cure. And I would just say, don't give up hope. You have, there's a medication now and, and 
we're just hoping for a cure.